Do you believe in aliens? This nudist community on the outskirts of suburbia believe they have. We were sitting around a bonfire after taking some mushrooms when we all saw a UFO falling out of the sky. Uh, Tracy? Tracy? Tracy! Huh? What? I was just staring at her tits. I mean boobs. I mean melons. I mean... Ah, uh, this is so embarrassing. I'm so sorry. There is no reason to be ashamed. It's Mother Nature. Would you like a mushroom? So I clean the kitchen in the garage. How long are you gonna be in the living room? As long as I damn please, boy. Man, come on, Curtis. This is the last one I have to do, and I got six more houses after this. You should have thought about that before you started breaking into other people's houses and stealing their food. We never got an apology for that, by the way. What I gotta be sorry for? This is my damn house. You lucky night powder didn't take you to jail. Instead, you have to clean the houses of everyone in the neighborhood. My, whatever. I'm doing this because I want to, you feel me? Are you wearing that dress because you want to? As a matter of fact, I am. I feel bonito. A chilling discovery unfolds as the deep sea expedition led by the renowned multi-million dollar enterprise Ocean Door takes a tragic turn. Their state-of-the-art submarine boldly carrying five influenced visionaries on a quest to unlock the secrets of the iconic Titanic has been located in the murky depths of the ocean. With happy hearts, we report that the ill-fated submarine, once breathing with hope and aspirations, now rests as a somber tomb beneath the waves. A profound loss has befallen on the families and loved one of the five esteemed passengers, as each life was tragically cut short within an unforgiving embrace of the ocean's death. What the heck, Dad? I was watching that. I thought I, uh, told you that you shouldn't be watching the news. It'll rot your brain. Dad, it's called the news, so I can learn some new shit about the world instead of being locked up in this damn dungeon you call a mansion. Smarty. Do you remember what happened to you the last time you went outside? BD, you better recognize. Dad, that wasn't even accurately correct and you know it. I mean, come on, a B? A shocking B? Jesus, the writers just have it out for me to never get any old. Son, believe it or not, I uh, was just like you when I was your age. I was ugly. I had no hoes. My mother didn't love me. And I, uh, was built like the stick on a popsicle. But look how I ended up. Wow, really, Dad? Nah, I'm just messing with you. I had hella hose and a jawline that could cut a brick in half. I just said that shit to make your ugly ass feel better. <laughs> uh, anyways, I'm actually a shareholder of the Ocean Door Company, and I'll be away for a few days attending a party meetings following what happened with that submarine. Later, son! Top, I'm on top. See the guap, get the guap, that's a lot. Hit the gas, need no brakes, I don't stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. At the top, see the top, I'm on top. See the guap, get the guap, that's a lot. Hit the gas, need no brakes, I don't stop. Yeah. Oh my god. At the top, see the top, I'm on top. See the guap, get the guap, that's a lot. <laughs> so, why are we going with you again? To avoid being thrown in jail by night powder, he told me that I will be the community house cleaner for the entire neighborhood. That didn't answer his question. Shut up, nephew. I was getting there. Now I'm going to need your help cleaning up this last house. And why would we do that? Because it's a discreet. What? Man, let me see that. Oh, snap, cuz oh. We're gonna see boobs! Later on in the episode, Marcus. Shut up! We're here. How the hell did I not see this big ass house in the first episode? <clears throat> Hello, sir or madam. Are you Kyle Whiteman? No, that's my dad. What can I help you with? And why are you wearing a dress? This is the guy that Night Paladin has cleaned everyone's houses in the neighborhood. Oh, snap! That was you? Damn! Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and get it out your system. Sure. Come on in, you guys. Shoot. With this big ass house, I wouldn't be surprised if Night Paladin lived here. My dad has some big shot investor or whatever. He owns a bunch of companies, banks, and pretty much anything that makes money. Damn. And I thought I knew how to make money. I was born into the wrong family. Actually, my life sucks. 
My dad treats me like shit, keeps me locked up in the house like I'm Rapunzel, and he calls me ugly. I understand how you feel. Really? We might not have the same upbringing, but I can relate to you. Wow. No one has ever said that to me. Thanks. Oh, that must be my takeout. You never really leave the house? Yeah, my dad doesn't really like when I go outside. Hey, Marty. I see you ordering out again. Yeah, my dad's away and he gave your chef the weekend off. It must be nice. Pong? Oh, hey, little D. Hey, well, Marcus. I didn't know you guys were friends with Marty. We didn't know you had a job. I'm Asian. I've been working since I was three until I could be a doctor. Huh. Maybe Curtis wasn't talking out of his ass. Hey, how much money you be making? How about you wear about your own pockets, old Marcus? Wanna come inside? Nah, I still have to finish up my shift, but if you guys are throwing a party, I'll definitely stop by, waiter. Well, my dad would kill me if he knew I threw a party, let alone have people in the house. Actually, that sounds like a great idea. What? You said it yourself. You can't leave the house. So, if you really want to start living the life that you deserve and stick it to your pops, a party is a great first step. Plus, I can make a killer charging people money at the door. Yeah, let's do it. You sure you really want to go through with this? Oh, my dad. We're going to throw the biggest party Caprabia has ever seen. <laughs> oh, my God. Are you okay? This will make sense later on in the episode. <coughs> to throw the ultimate party, we're going to have to start off with the three Bs. What the hell are the three Bs? Beer, bro, and Whoa! What the hell, Marty? Why did you say that? Are you trying to get us demonetized? Well, if we're going there, I know a few Asians in the wet white district. The three Bs are Bouncers, Beats, and Boosie. Boosie? As in Boosie Badass? Oh, I want Widow Pussy. FaceTime with my Widow Pink, oh yeah. All I need is Widow Pink, oh yeah. Everybody and their mama knows that in order to have a dope party, you need Boosie. But first, we need someone watching the dope, and I know just who to call. <laughs> Oh, hell no. Oh, no. Marty, protect your booty hole. Hey, we're cool. We're here to make amends. If we knew who you were, we wouldn't have stepped to you, little D. The Fruity Squad wants no smoke with you or your people. Which is why we wanted the baddest gang in the city to keep everybody in check. As you should. Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm Marty. Boy, you ugly as hell. Don't talk to me. So, what about the beef? I was thinking maybe we hire someone like the Little River Band to play live. I'm Asian, and I can tell you get no holes, Marty. I had something else in mind for that. Let me introduce y'all to... DJ Oh, my little Asian Andrews! What is this, Marcus? This is one of the greatest DJs of our generation. Where do you want me to set up the money? You can set up in the backyard. The money? That's my rap name. What? I gotta prepare in case his show doesn't work out. Not everybody can be the main character like you, cuz. That's besides the point. How are we gonna get Boosie to show up? That's up to you. What? Oh, come on, cuzzo. Boosie can get any party jumping, and with Marty being the host, the only people showing up are people in white vans. I mean, just look at them. <sighs> Fine, but that shit is only gonna work once on me, LaMarcus. Look, Bishop, I need your help getting Boosie to promote this party. Brother D, did my ears deceive me, or did you just ask me to pull a Porsche out of a hat? <laughs> Excuse me, that was rude of me to say. Let me explain it to you in layman terms. <coughs> Just like myself, Brother Boosie doesn't lift a finger to help another soul unless it favors him. And by favor, I mean currency. And by currency, I mean guala. And by guala, I mean... If you don't help us get Boosie to this party by tonight, I'm going to tell my dad what you and my mom did. <coughs> of course, since I consider you family and whatnot, I can wave my finder's feet. Now, if you'll allow me a moment... Hello, Tootie? Where your daddy at? This is a cold red emergency. You hear me? Cold red. Bishop in distress. He's what? What do you mean he's locked up? A gun? Why the hell was he carrying a gun? What the f- <laughs> Why were y'all in the hood? Never mind that. That's neither here nor there. What is this bell? No bail? <laughs> Lord, you Negroes are trying to kill me in this thousand dollar suit. <sighs> okay, pay one of the guards to sleep on my phone and I'll handle the rest. <laughs> Unfortunately, Boosie won't be able to make it to the party, but he will see to it that the party will go on. Oh snap, Boosie's live on Instagram. Hold on dog, I'm on live, man. What's going on, IG? I'm locked up again.
Lately, I was found with 12 pistols and a rocket launcher, but they lying on me, man. I'll be explaining myself in my new Vlad interview tomorrow morning. Look here, though. I'm letting y'all know that there's a party going down in suburbia, man. Address in my bio along with my cash app. So I need all the thick dwarves to make something shake, man. Three hood dudes standing in the corner will be security, ready to shoot that bitch up, man. And somebody call John Morant, tell him to get on the live, man, and see if he gonna take these charges from me, man. I ain't do it, man. I promise you. Boosie, huh? turn that shit off and get on the bunk to cuddle. <laughs> Come on, man. Stop playing with me, man. If I put some shop on you, I'm, I'm, I'm on my live, man. I'm gonna put something in you, but it ain't gonna be sharp. It's gonna be hot. Sticky and stinky, just the way I like it. And if you try to fight back, I'ma take my time with it. Hey, come on, man. I'm on my live, dog. I just gave you some rap snacks, man. Right? Right. I got a candy cane for you because I know you're diabetic. Hey, man. Hey, get your hands off me. Bubba, bubba, uh -huh. no. Like, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Somebody call Vlad. Uh -huh. Somebody get Vlad on the phone. It's a new interview. Somebody hit me up. Call me back. Help. Get off me, Bubba. Hey, yo, what's up, Marty? Say, hey, you got here, man. Hey, thanks, man. This party is righteous, man. Well, except the DJ. I have no clue what he's doing. I need all the women in the front row twerking to the song right now. Boo, you stink. I run on this new home. Play some young Jeezy. Anyways, do you have any party favors? What do you mean? You know. Something that spice up the mood, got any coke? Oh gosh, no. My dad doesn't carry name brand products in its house. But we do have Nicola. Or Nicola. Nicola is the drink of choice if you're looking for a burst of energy. You can also get a free can of Nicola and it's cool and cooking when you become a member of the channel for only one dollar. Okay, what's going on? And for only five dollars a month, you become a suburbian and have a gush to make character of your choice. What the hell was that? Were we just in a commercial? Come on, let's get out of here, man. I told you that guy was weird. Did I say something wrong? I think they were referring to drugs, not soft drinks, Marty. Oh, crap. How can I be so stupid? At this rate, everyone's gonna leave. I need to get a hold of some drugs right now. Where's the market? Hold on now. You sure you want to go that route? Drugs and parties do not mix well. This is my only chance to become one of the cool guys, and I'll do whatever it takes. Man, this is horrible. Everybody's leaving the mess, and I can't keep up. Here, I need you to put this on to help me clean. Kevin, I will f you up if you ever say some shit like that to me again. Oh, come on now. Be nice to your uncle. Mom? Hey, baby. How's your summer been? Mom, what are you doing here? And who are you doing? Hey, Darrell. Nice to meet you. Big fan of the show. Mom, are you f Jesus? Relax, baby boy. I'm just doing on to others as I will have them done to me. Uh, We're gonna get canceled. What is Jesus doing here in the first place? I heard there was gonna be a sick-ass party in suburbia, so I had to come down. It hasn't been much fun up there anyway since Lucy was kicked out. They just be up there praying and shit. Yeah, I love Lucy. <laughs> hey, yo, what's his problem? No idea. Are you ready? See? Didn't I say you can do it? I guess I still got it. So, you wanna... Do I know Boosie? Man, hell yeah, I know Boosie. He called me the money because I'm where the money resides, baby. The there you are. I need some drugs, man. Wait, baby, where you going? Uh, Marty, what your spitting ass talking about? People are getting bored and leaving the party. So? So, I need to don't beat people up so they have a good time. Drugs and party don't mix well together. Haven't you seen The Hangover? Please, the Marcus, we're three episodes in and all I've done is hold by talking beef. <sighs> Fine. But when shit goes left, don't act like I didn't warn you. Who are you calling? The only guy I know high enough to know where to get drugs. Hello? Yo, Brad, I need you to come through and hook us up with some cold shit. Who is this? The guy you met in the first episode. How did you get my number? Man, I don't know, it's in the script. Oh, okay, that, that, that makes sense. So can you make it? Oh, uh, sure, where's the party? The White Man House, you know it? Dude, you're not going to believe this. I'm at the same party, my guy! <laughs> Alright, what do you want? I got ketamine, meth, MDMA, Adderall, Bromo Dragonfly, heroin, coke, crack, codeine, oxys, perks, vipes, PCP, 
LSD, diluted, mescaline, mushrooms, bath salts, cortisone, Totorol. I got Molly, I got her sister Sandra, I got Big Frank, I got birth control, I got Plan B, I got that more free from China they took off the market, shit to make your dick hard, shit to make your dick soft, shit that'll find your dick. Oh, that there's from Kenya, it's supposed to be a scurvy cure for silverback gorillas, but for humans it just makes you violently masturbate. Did I say crack? Because I got more of that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got some ibuprofen, aspirin, I got some Flintstone gummies. You seem good at your job, but I'll just take some weed. It's better to walk before one, am I right? <laughs> huh. Well, that was anticlimactic. <laughs> Is he good? He will be in about 48 hours. Note to self. The Hiroshima cuss is a little too strong. Y'all didn't believe in me, but God did. Brother, this guy stinks! Hey man, just play this, okay? Can I? No, you cannot scream your name over it. <laughs> I've been grinding for weeks, but I haven't slept in days. Cause I'm spending every dollar they encourage me to save. I'm always bring these racks in, but I will never change. And I'ma spend it all before I lay in the grave. I'ma spend it all. shoes, brother. Oh, gosh. I'm sorry. Nah, it's okay, man. It is? Of course, friend. Accidents happen. Now, I'm just gonna need your wallet and shoes off all for you. What? Did I stutter? Run that shit! How about we all calm down? The party ain't gotta be the only thing that is tonight, you feel me? Darnell? <laughs> shit, I heard your ass was dead. Wrong twin, Bourbon. Now, I ain't gonna ask you again. Pack your shit and leave before I renovate this Nah, you might look like him, but you ain't him. I know you ain't got the balls to pull that well, it's a good thing we are. Looks like we're in a sticky situation, boys. And we love it sticky. Mm. Is that Jesus getting head over that? What? Oh my god! You killed Kenny! You bastard! Cops already? We in suburbia, cuzzo! They got a 30 seconds response time! Nephew! The cops are coming, and I don't know if I got any outstanding warrants, so we gotta go now. Why are you scared? Cause we're back. Don't worry, I warned last episode. All right, boy. Tell me what I want to hear. What happened? Basically, a game of bloods put up and shot old dude on the ground. They heard the sirens and they did. Boy. Stop lying to me and tell me the truth. What? A white kid is dead, and you got the ball slide in my face. My man, what's your problem? I already told you. Shut up. <laughs> Play up game bangers and there are no snitching rules. Sprinkle some crack on him and lock his ass up. All right, son. You saw what I did to that thug over there? You're safe now. Tell me what happened. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. They shot him over food stamps. They're going to kidnap white women. Okay, that's it. This is Officer Sakar. We're looking for a gun toting pot smoking thug. Hide somewhere in the house. Find him now. This is a good, y'all. They said it's my whole house. Oh, hell no. I got too much shit on me that'll have me playing basketball in Pelican Bay. This isn't the time for movie references. What are we gonna do? Did you hear that? Check the damn attic. Come on out, boy. I can smell the cocoa butter on you. Here, nephew. I told you this was gonna make sense later on. Oh, it's just fast. Marty, what are you doing? Come on, man. I'm dead. I'm freaking dead, man. 